Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to incorporate tab completion into your plugins. A while ago, Minecraft added support for tab completions for players' names and command arguments. If you wanted to send a message to a player and you wanted to use their name, uh, but you didn't want to type in their full name, you could begin typing their name and then press the tab button and it would automatically complete their name. If there were multiple, for example, if I typed P and there were more than one person that's name be whose name began with P, it would show a list of all of the people whose name began with P, and then it would autocomplete to the first uh, name in alphabetical order. This can also be applied to plugins, uh, so you can have different commands and subcommands within those commands uh, return auto completion and in this case we're going to be uh, adapting the custom spawner plugin that we made a while ago to auto complete uh, different entity types so if I type in spawner and I press tab to try to complete the argument it'll return a list of all of the entities uh, entity types that are alive that's important because entity um, mob spawners can only spawn entity types that are alive so I did add that but uh, if you start typing something like B uh, since bat and blaze and possibly others also begin with B, it would show a list of all the uh, entity types that begin with B, and it would automatically correct to the first, first one in alphabetical order. However, if I typed in, like, B-L-A-Z, it would, since blaze is the only option, automatically correct to blaze. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. Uh, tab completion works pretty much the same as commands, and you can actually just copy the onCommand method header and change two things. First we need to change this to be on tab complete, and then we need to change this to be a list string. What this does is it overrides the method called on tab complete inside of Java plugin, which is called whenever someone presses tab for a command, and it returns a list of all of the possible choices for uh, given the circumstances. Now when this is called, you're given the sender, the command, the command label, and the arg. So you can pretty much customize this however you wanted. And you can even have it do, um, you know, other things. So what we want to do first when we're going to go ahead and add this is we need to make sure that the command is correct. So if the command uh, equals ignore case to be spawner, so if it is in fact the spawner command, uh, next, we need to go ahead and do an argument check. So we want to say if args.length is equal to 1. The reason why you would want to do this is because this is called whenever any uh, whenever tab is hit for any of your commands. So if you have two different subcommands and each take a different um, array or a different list of uh, completion of uh, types, then you would want to change that to reflect the different types. Let's say you had a game and you had an add method that took in whatever you wanted to add a team, but you had a remove team um, subcommand that would only take in one of the possible teams. The add would not tab complete since it can be anything, but the remove would autocomplete to be any of the possible team names that already exist. That's just a quick example, but in this case we just want to make sure that it's only for the first argument and you would of course need to apply this uh, in other plugins more importantly. Then we're going to go ahead and define an array list of string which we're going to call entity types and we'll just go ahead and instantiate it and this is what we're going to end up returning. Um, we're going <coughs> to... excuse me... Um, what you're going to use the argument that's given to basically fill this list as it needs to be filled. Then we're going to end up returning it, and it'll contain all of the possible entity types given the argument. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say if exclamation point arg zero dot equals nothing. So if the first arg, because we know right here from this check that there is going to be one argument. So if that one argument is not equal to nothing, so if they did begin to specify something, then we need to take whatever they began to specify and handle that. So we're going to go ahead and do our enhanced for loop and say for entity type type in entity type dot not villager dot values 
values, okay, and then we're going to say if type dot is alive important because we don't want to return any types that are not alive because they are invalid that you can't use them. And type dot name dot to lowercase dot starts with args zero dot to lowercase. We're going to say entity types dot add type dot name. What we're doing here is we're going through all of the possible entity types. We're saying if it's alive, first of all, and if that name starts with the argument. So if I typed in BL and it went for entity type bat, um, that name bat does not start with BL, so it wouldn't work. But for blaze, it does. So blaze does start with BL, so it would add it to the list. We're doing the two lowercase uh, because we need to make sure that it's comparing the actual. If I typed in, uh, you know, with uh, enumerator constants, they're in all caps. If I typed in blaze in all lowercase and I used, if I typed in BL in lowercase, and I was trying to compare it with something in uppercase, I'm not completely sure if it would work. It's basically the difference between equals and equals ignore case, but there's no starts with ignore case unless it does um, ignore the case. Alright, so um, that's only if they don't specify anything. We try to use what they gave us. Uh, if they don't specify anything, we're basically going to do pretty much the same thing, except we're going to remove that check that second check so basically as long as the entity is alive then it's fair game and since they didn't give us anything to start we can just give them whatever we want now we need to do collections dot sort given uh, the entity types and what this will do is it will sort this into alphabetical order which is very important because by default if you take a look inside of entity type the entities are sorry not equals Entity type, they're not sorted in um, alphabetical order. If you just go through this and look, like, uh, you know, dropped item, all of these types, uh, like the projectiles and whatever, come first, and then all of these come. And as you can see, like, silverfish <clears throat> comes before blaze, so it's obviously not in alphabetical order. We want to make sure that it is so that it's easy to read. Then we can finally go ahead and return entity types. Uh, now, there is also a chance that it could be empty, which is fine, because um, if they if I try to type in, like, ZHL, obviously no entity type is going to start with that, so then it would just end up being an empty list, which is fine, because then uh, nothing would autocorrect, and that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead, otherwise, outside of that, we want to return null. We need to return something no matter what, so we'll return null, which just means nothing. And that is all right. Nothing to register. It's not an event. So we're, let's go ahead and uh, export that, start up the server, and I already have Minecraft open and ready to connect. So as soon as this starts up, we will go ahead and test the tab completion. Okay. So let's go ahead and log in, and here we are. So let me just go ahead and grab mob spawner. And we'll just go ahead and put one down so that we can demonstrate that the plugin works. Not that it's the focus, but um, we'll just stick it right there. Okay, so mob spawner is working fine. Let's go ahead and type in spawner, which will, of course, tell me to specify the mob type. If I go ahead and type spawner, I need to put the space in. If I just press tab without the space, it thinks that I'm trying to auto-complete the command. But since the command's already complete... Um, it doesn't work. So when I go ahead and put in the space and I hit tab, you'll see that it puts a list of all of the living entity types and it automatically corrects to bat because bat is the first result. You can also see that they're ordered in alphabetical order because we sorted the list. Um, so that clearly works. And if I go ahead and hit enter, one thing I notice is that you have to stand on top of it and then look down at it to make it work, but um, not terribly important right now. Okay, so... Uh, that clearly worked with the bats. Let's go ahead and try typing in BLA, which could obviously only be Blaze. That automatically corrects to Blaze, and no list shows up. Since Blaze is the only possible option, it automatically corrects there. Now, let's say I were to type in B. You'll see that it 
bat and blaze both pop up because they both start with B, and it automatically corrects to bat because bat is the first result. So that's all for this video, tab completion that handles given nothing or given the start or possibly um, entirety of uh, an argument. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, comment with what you want to learn. I'm always open to your suggestions, and I'd rather make a video that you guys want to see than a video that I want to make because I'm doing this for you guys, and I want to teach whatever you guys want to learn. And if you like this video, click the like button. Um, see you guys next time with some more videos, and have a nice day.